hello, we are anonymous. This announcement is regarding justice for Clayton Miller. On April 16, 2015, CERT and Dr. Bose met with the Miller family to discuss their findings. The findings have been unacceptable by both the family, the public and Anonymous. Anonymous has received many details and information in regards to what came of the investigation, and we are not alone in stating we are far from impressed by the findings, and overall, how this investigation was handled. The public and Anonymous have the following questions that need to be answered. They are as follows. 1. Did CERT interview all that was involved the night of the raid? 2. Did CERT interview all that attended the day of the inquiry? 3. Did CERT interview all new Waterford police that were on and off duty that night of the raid? 4. Did CERT interview all RCMP involved with the original investigation? Anonymous can answer all of the previous questions with a resounding no you did not. We do have a list of people you have not questioned in this investigation and the list we just asked is not all of them. Dr. Bo's conclusion of Clayton's death being caused by hypothermia, is flawed not just based on the previous questions and the answer to all of them, but also the following. 1. There was no frostbite or gangrene of tissues, especially of the toes and fingers. 2. There was no red patches or blisters anywhere on the skin. 3. There were no bluish anoxic patches on the shoulders, knees, hands, or feet. 4. There was no deterioration of tissues such as hemorrhagic pancreatitis, gastric and mucosal ulcerations, pulmonary hemorrhages, fatty degradation of the liver, renal tubules, or myocardium. 5. Clayton's autopsy findings did not show any evidence of myxedema and cerebral infarcts or hemorrhages which are predisposing factors of hypothermia. 6. There was no generalized edema, red discoloration of face and extremities due to lack of oxygen dissociation of the blood, nor abdominal distension due to paralytic ileus which would be the case if death was due to hypothermia. 7. The original autopsy report states Clayton was merely drunk. You Dr. Bose, stated in your report he was severely drunk. This is based on what actual facts? Did you have a chemical analysis? No you did not. 8. In 1998, Dr. Rose said the cause of Clayton's death was due to a choke hold. Why did Dr. Bose not even mention this in his re-examination of the details of his death? Note in the pictures of Clayton's right arm which are available online, shown across his chest, bent at the arm shown across his chest, bent at the elbow, resting on the lateral left side and the position under Clayton's left armpit, as opposed to his his right which is emerged in water, bent at the elbow and extended in the air on his right side. This proves Clayton's stance of death is not the position he was found in the brook after he expired. Lividity also shows clearly on left side and his chin resting on the ground. One also has to ask the question, why did the new Waterford police state in their report it was dark at the time of the raid when the raid occurred at 8.30 p.m. on May 4? For Anonymous to put this into perspective, please take a look out your window at 8.30 p.m. and tell us it's dark out tonight on May 3. We can tell you it won't be. It's dusk, not dark. There is a big difference. You are still able to see at dusk. You can't in dark. Based on the absence of all the above, Clayton Miller could not have died of hypothermia. There are many, many more questions however, you Dr. Bose and you Ron McDonald of CERT, failed to meet the Millers, Kate Dwyer, and the Millers lawyer, Mr. Wagner. If you have nothing to hide and wish to put this issue to bed, why would you not meet with them? Anonymous can only assume it's for the same reason Ottawa still has not given all the documents to the Miller family after waiting for 25 years, or is it because you and CERT hold the original photos and don't want the family to have access to them due to the available Ashes ability of professionals willing to help them? Anonymous is very well aware of the photos that the Millers have, are photos of photos, taken from the originals. Why is that in this day and age? That's not acceptable at all. Where are the negatives? Where are the actual photos? 
We even know Chief of Police in Cape Breton Peter McIsaac has stated and I quote, no one knows where the files are unquote. The new Waterford police were disbanded shortly after Clayton died and amalgamated into the Cape Breton Regional Police, who Chief McIsaac oversees now. It's very obvious, you are clearly hiding something, all of you are. Anonymous itself would like to make the following statement to the Justice Minister of Nova Scotia, Lena Dib, and the Premier of Nova Scotia, Stephen McNeil. You asked a very respected and experienced medical examiner of Nova Scotia to take a case that you knew would not answer or satisfy the family or the public. We know you don't care about Anonymous, but you will after this video and the following videos to come based on the following statement from your examiner. He stated and I quote, in order to give a full treatment of these issues, I have found it necessary to review all of the investigative material available to me and to formulate my own opinion on the cause and manner of Clayton Miller's death. An opinion regarding the quality of previous police investigations, procedures and conclusions is outside of the scope of this report. Unquote. Prime Minister Harper, you should help out with this and direct your provincial government to do the right thing. A thorough investigation and or inquiry due to the vast number of different autopsies, the differing outcomes of medical examiners, and the public outcry for a proper answer. This is the perfect time for you Mr. Stephen Harper. Help the Miller family, because the Nova Scotia government clearly cannot. Anonymous can only guess the reason for Dr. Bo's conclusion of hypothermia is because when the original medical conclusion by Dr. Rauch was a violent death, is so any investigation regarding the quality of previous police investigations, procedures, and conclusions wouldn't have to occur. Unfortunately for the current government, they were not briefed on anonymous before entering office. We have got results before, and we will continue to get results with you. You are not special, you are no different. The Millers will receive those additional documents from Ottawa they have been requesting for many years from the RCMP, and the Nova Scotia government will stop playing games with the Millers, the public, and Anonymous. If they do not, Anonymous will inform the public. Make it happen, now. You do not need a hate campaign at election time. To the people who thought Anonymous was out, surprise. We were never out. We have always been here. When we stay quiet is when you should become worried, not when we are visible. Government is not our only target in this investigation. Heed our warning. We are relentless in answers and justice for Clayton Miller and his family. We are not a joke and neither is this case or the unfortunate situation you have put the Miller family into. Further videos will explain more, and they are coming. Prime Minister Harper, an election is looming nationally. You should direct your province in the correct direction, because they clearly cannot do it themselves under this government. The previous government could. This one has shown no due course. You have upset the public, and the hive. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.